Welcome to the Children's Trust Video Children's Guide. In it, we'll give you an idea of what it's like to live here and go to our school. Good morning, welcome to the Children's Trust School. Welcome to Chestnut House. My name is Michael Humphrey Jones, I'm the manager, and this is Home Away From Home for nine young people, and I'd like to show you around. At the moment, you can see we're preparing for Christmas, which is an exciting time of year for all of us, and we'll see that throughout the house. Chestnut House, we're really fortunate to have nice, big, spacious rooms for our young people to live in. It was one of the most recent purpose-built buildings in 2005. We have a blue corridor, and we have a green corridor, I will take you to see one of the young people's rooms. Recently been decorated to the young man's tastes. We went out shopping. We also did a little bit of internet shopping to find a Marvel superhero wallpaper. So this is one of our bathrooms we have in Chestnut House. Each of the young people have access to their own bathroom with specially adapted bathroom equipment. This bath is a hydroacoustic bath. So we have colour changing lights in the bath and also in the seas in the ceiling for a multi-sensory experience and this is one of the newer baths which also has um, sound capabilities so for young people that are audibly impaired they can feel the vibrations of their favourite music through the water. So as well as individualised bedrooms and living spaces we also have two large lounges for the children to enjoy activities in. I'll take you to our sensory lounge. In here we've got a variety of equipment tailor made to meet our young people's creative and leisure needs this serves as a lovely place for the young people to relax after a long day at school or to have additional therapy sessions based on house. So in addition to a large sensory lounge, we've also got a living space where the young people can enjoy the latest music chart show or movies in the evening with a large projector screen TV for young people with visual impairments. So in Chestnut we're really fortunate to have a large open plan kitchen area where the young people can come and have meal times together or engage in creative leisure activities like arts and Hello, welcome to Jasmine. My name is David. I'm the head of house of Jasmine. Um, we're one of the schoolhouses of the Children's Trust and um, we've got eight beds. I've currently got seven young people staying with us 
and we're starting this bit of the film in our sensory room. So this is where lots of the young people have a really good time, chilling out, enjoying all the coloured lights, and it's a very therapeutic environment where people can relax and be stimulated by all the different colours and all the different moving lights. This is one of our um, young people's bedrooms and as you can see they're really personalised um, and they create as much of a homely environment as possible in the, in the young people's bedrooms. This is actually Tabitha's bedroom and you're going to be meeting Tabitha later on um, and she's very proud of the fact that she, we've made together, we've managed to make this room as personal with everything that she loves to see every day um, in her own environment. Welcome to the lounge in uh, Jasmine, where we're doing with the play therapy team. Yay! Yay. Well, well done, Tabitha. Um, we're doing a bit of bowling. We have a fabulous play team who support lots of fun activities on the houses. And finally, welcome to Willow House, where our older children reside. Like the other houses, Willow has a large communal area where young children play, relax and enjoy their time together. We support our young people's well-being and ensure they feel valued and happy. Willow also have a great pampering room for you to do your hair, makeup or just relax. Hello, my name is Tabitha and I live here in Jasmine House, here at the Children's Trust. I would like to show you what I get up to on a typical day. This is her leaving Jasmine House on her way over to school. Definitely enjoying the look of her reflection in the mirror. Enjoying the opportunity to take part in aqua therapy. Intensive interaction with a member of school staff who Tabitha gets on really well with. Playing a keyboard. Loving the bubbles. Meeting our local fire service. Back home to do some arts and crafts activities. Loving being outside in the sunshine. Thank you for watching my film. Hope to see you soon here at the Children's Trust. We also work with Jigsaw For You, who are an independent advocacy service for children and young people when they live away from home. We'll let Mona tell you more about it. Hello, my name is Mona Ahmed and I'm the independent children and young persons advocate for the Trust. My role as an advocate is to be neutral and non-biased and ensure that the views of the children and young persons heard, responded to and respected. Another important way to make a complaint is through the Office of Children's Commissioner. You can contact them through the Help at Hand service. Sometimes you might not agree with something, 
We want to hear what you think, but sometimes it's hard to say it directly, so we give you a system to help you, your parents or carers to make your voice heard. So there we are. We hope you enjoyed our film and we hope to see you very soon at the Children's Trust.